What's going on guys? Tony here with another installment of Tony's Take. All right, this isn't exactly like a big bombshell type of thing, but as I said in my previous video, I'm gonna try to do more of these, um, you know, kind of one-off, like interesting news stories, obviously, but nothing super controversial or anything, just to see how you guys take it. You guys definitely like that uh, PlayStation one I did yesterday, but you know this one, I I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna get like a massive amount of hits, but whatever let's go with it let's experiment let's talk about the 360 um again this is again not a big uh new story because it was bound to happen obviously but interesting nonetheless so microsoft has decided to end the production of the xbox 360 after 10 years the original one came out 2005 november 2005 um it's actually celebrated its 10th anniversary last um you know november and stuff right but now a couple months after that, they're done. They're, they're going to cease all production on it. Um, bound to happen, obviously, you know, they got the Xbox One now. And 10 years is a pretty good run, you know? And, you know, I want to take this time to talk about the 360, the, the legacy of it. Um, kind of interesting because, as, you know, you guys who know me, you know I never owned an Xbox 360. I didn't even play an Xbox 360 game until, like, 2010, literally like five years after it came out um you know so I, I was not a 360 guy at all right um but the thing is i did play most of the games that did come out on 360 because they were also on ps3 right um so i can't really talk about things like um halo or fable or or forza um you know because i never had any personal hands-on experience with them however you know i did you know now that i have an xbox one I played Gears of War, the first one, and I absolutely loved it, you know? Gears of War, you know, that, that's the game I want to focus on. That's the game right there that really kind of brought the the next gen to, you know, to the forefront. In, in other words, it's like, you know, 360 came out in 2005. We saw some games for it. They looked really good. You know, you had your cameos and stuff, Lost Odyssey, you know, those those games, right? And they looked really good. But when Gears of War hit, that's the game that made people go, holy shit, this is next gen, this is th this is the future, right, that game blew everybody away, now obviously if you pop in the original Gears of War now, hasn't exactly aged very well, but at the time, that was like the best looking game, you know, out there, like, you know, it, it was just ridiculous, right, and there was a lot of other things that the Xbox 360 did, um, you know, that, that really helped pave the way for modern gaming take make of that what you will you know it could be a bad thing or a good thing but obviously the biggest thing that xbox 360 brought to the forefront was online gaming now while the dreamcast was the first system that actually had you know modern online gaming in, in terms of like you know connecting over the internet you know i'm not talking about the sega network um you know the the, the what you would call it the the sega dreamcast it started that off right but what was the sega dreamcast essentially it was kind of a precursor to the original Xbox. Microsoft, um, you know, it had components, uh, you know, what it, had, it had Microsoft components inside of the Dreamcast, right? You guys could probably correct me on that. But anyway, it served as a basis for the original Xbox, right? Which, of course, had online as well, right? People were playing Halo and stuff, and they were connecting with each other, and it was really, really good, right? But the 360, you know, with Xbox Live and all that, it took things to a whole other level, completely other level, and... You know, it, it gave us basically the, the modern gaming world we see now. You know, every game is basically online, you know, for good or bad. Um, that was the, the 360 definitely helped usher that in. Then, of course, we got to talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the game that, while not an exclusive, it kind of defined the system. That, like, it, pretty much that game was so big, was so successful that every other game tried to be Modern Warfare um, in some type of way, even Final Fantasy 13, if you read interviews, they said, yeah, we wanted to capture that fast paced feel of, you know, of Call of Duty. So Call of Duty was, was a gargantuan, like, like fucking, um, I'm losing my words here, but it was just really, really influential in the industry. And, you know, you had a ton of shooters. And because of that, you know, the Xbox kind of became known as the shooter box, right? Because that's what most of the, the fan base loved. They loved their shooting games, right? And that was all because of Call of Duty. But, you know, the 360 obviously was an all-bot shooters. They had Forza, you know, which was the rival to um, Sony's, um, 
Gran Turismo, right? That was really good. And then, of course, you had Fable, which was a, a really big, you know, RPG and stuff for the system. And then you even had smaller games like Shadow Complex, which is just now coming out for the PS4, right? You know, Xbox 360 had a good... Basically, if you had an Xbox 360 and just that last gen, you were kind of well off. You know, you pretty much had everything because all the developers knew how to make games on the system. The games mostly came out the best on Xbox 360, despite the fact that the Xbox 360 was a weaker system compared to PS3. PS3 had some weirdo cell processor crap that nobody could understand, but 360 was nice and easy to develop for. Now, everything was in rosy for the 360, obviously. You had the, you know, Red Ring of Death, you know, which cost Microsoft millions, maybe even more than that. Cost them a lot of money, you know? Um, and that was also one of the reasons why the system sold so well, because the systems would break down and people would just buy more Xbox 360s. Every friend I know that has an Xbox has bought at least, and I'm not exaggerating, has bought at minimum three systems, right? He bought three Xbox consoles, minimum. So you're going to tell me that didn't help boost the sales? And then not to mention the fact that the damn thing came out a year before the PS3. So that also helped it, you know, you know, maintain that huge gap that it had with the PS3 up until the very end when the PS3 actually managed to catch up and exceed Xbox 360 sales, but it didn't really exceed them by much. And in America, no, it wasn't even a contest, man. 360 crushed it, you know? Um, and then, you know, uh, you know, I, I, there's not really much to say. It's just, you know, just reminiscing on the 360 over here. Um, yeah, I mean, there were other games obviously on there. Grand Theft Auto V, huge game, Red Dead Redemption, the Mass Effect series, Mass Effect 1 was a uh, Xbox exclusive for a long time. That that was another thing for me. That was like, holy shit, this is next gen. Uh, the Assassin's Creed. Basically, every big game from last gen was on Xbox 360. And, you know, it's all on PS4 and Xbox One now, right? So, yeah, the Xbox Street Fighter 4 obviously was, you know, the best version of that was on Xbox 360. So, yeah, it's just, you know, even though it's been discontinued, the legacy that it leaves behind is going to keep on going, you know, it's, it is it, it, definitely, as I wrote in my um, article for geek.com, it has secured its place in video game Valhalla, right, the 360, so there you go, those are my thoughts on Microsoft discontinuing 360, um, I know a lot of you guys are fans of it, so please let me know what you guys think about the 360, share your memories, your favorite games, all that stuff. So that's it for this video. So uh, thank you for watching. As always, taking the time to check this stuff out. Um, not just my stuff, the coalition stuff in general. I'm, I'm glad you guys are supporting us. I, I, I like seeing that we're getting more and more subscribers all the time. So thank you for that. So again, please uh, hit like on this. Um, you know, give it a thumbs up. Um, even a thumbs down too. I don't care. As long as you like it or dislike it, whatever. Um, check out the other videos on the channel. And that is pretty much that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you guys around for another Tony's Take later. Game on!